Yo, what is up everyone? It's Coffee Craft and we're here back in my hardcore survival world to show you guys step by step how to make a moss farm that is going to produce just over 4,000 items per hour including moss blocks, moss carpets, azaleas, flowering azaleas, and seeds and this is going to be relatively easy and simple to build the resources required aren't too insane. Shout out goes to Ray's Works, of course, for building this farm. My next farm is gonna need tons of moss carpets. So if you don't have one already, make sure you build a moss farm and let's get into survival so we can do this. As always, the finalized list will be in the description below, but we're gonna go over that and we're gonna need about 142 solid blocks of your choice, five slabs, seven stairs, 63 pistons, 25 hoppers, 70 redstone dust, a lava bucket, two water buckets at least, could be more, 11 repeaters, four observers, a dispenser, a dropper, a block of obsidian, a minecart with hopper, 11 chests, eight levers, eight redstone torches, four moss blocks, six comparators, four sticky pistons, 27 powered rails, 24 rails, 20 blocks of your choice to put in hoppers for item sorting. Could be anything but not moss. 84 glass blocks of your choice. And I'd say about eight stacks of bone meal blocks actually to get this farm started. But this can be made infinite reproducing once it's all set up. So let's go ahead and build up at least 13 blocks to start off with. So I got 11 scaffolding going up and then two temporary blocks. Break the temporary block above the scaffolding and then get a piston, place it facing straight down and make a nice platform here for us to build from. We're going to make a seven by seven of pistons pointing straight down. This is what's gonna be uh, pushing the moss and breaking it so that we can collect it. Then we can go ahead and get rid of this temporary scaffolding. Come on back up on the corner here and head on up. Get rid of that block there, then get seven solid blocks, place them all along here, seven solid blocks there, and then redstone dust all on the solid blocks, another line through the center and connect it all together, and then head below here, and then on the side here we're going to make a three tall glass with a little block missing there, and then two down in the corner, so you can see that exactly like that there head on over to the other side and we're going to repeat the same thing except no little block missing with the two glass going down in the corner there and then we're going to go ahead and connect this all together just with a two tall wall around on this side here come on over to the other side build up and we're going to do the same thing a two tall connection for the wall here And then come on up onto this side here, make a path out just under those glass blocks, and then get pistons, place them facing up, connect it at the glass there. And then on top here, connect it on a diagonal, seven solid blocks there. And then we're gonna make some temporary blocks and place stairs going all along here. Make sure that they go in at the corner, so place a temporary block and then a stair there to make it go at the angle there. And just like that, we well, have a stair blocks are on here, and then place seven pistons here. And then another seven solid blocks just above these pistons. Get water buckets and place them on each of the stairs so that there's a water source at every single one of the stairs there. And then place seven solid blocks below here, seven solid blocks connected on the diagonal here. You'll see that I placed the final block there now. And then come on up. We're going to place a solid block there, slab there, 
another slab just below. We're going to need a temporary block to place it just like this get a repeater facing this direction redstone dust there there and there and then seven redstone dust along these solid blocks come on back down place redstone dust on all of these blocks that you see right here come on to the other side get rid of that scaffolding place seven redstone dust that's going to connect it all together now from underneath here we're going to get seven stone blocks place three underneath the glass heading out this way a block of obsidian and then four more stone blocks going out eventually these will all be changed to moss blocks so from one block in front of the obsidian closer to us we're going to place some temporary blocks below and then go ahead and place a dropper there and then a dispenser right above that and each of these are facing straight up so that's why we have to place it this way and then just go ahead and double check that you did this right just build up and get rid of that solid block there and then we can see that this dispenser is facing straight up now this has to be stone above the dispensers for it to turn into moss blocks now place four hoppers going into the dropper there and then build out three solid blocks out all around from the central dropper so it's all connected to one platform now we're going to get some rails place powered rails till the end and then normal rails around the corners here just like this onto the other side we're going to have to maneuver around the dispenser place powered rail rail around there rail wrapping back around then three powered rails and then some more regular rails and then powered rails here and it connects back to the same thing there and then build out two solid blocks from here place a temporary block there and there and there and then place a hopper facing this temporary block and then place a powered rail here and here, a regular rail there. And then another solid block there and there. And then from below, place a temporary block, solid block and solid block. Another temporary, a solid block, temporary, solid block. A double chest above the hopper, a slab there and there. Now we're going to go below and place a temporary block, a solid block, temporary solid block, and then a solid block here and go above, place a solid block, solid block below, solid block above, get rid of all your temporary blocks, come on to this side here, place a temporary block here, two solids, and then another two solids here. And then four solids here, making a two by eight, a solid there, and then a solid on the outside there. And then a lever on that block there, and then levers above exactly here. This is just to power the powered rails above. And then flick all of these on to power the powered rails above. And if we take a look from above here, we're going to see all the powered rails are turned on now. And then let's go below here. Place a repeater facing this way. Set this at two ticks. Place a redstone torch there. Now place redstone dust on top of these solid blocks heading on up. Now continue this redstone dust all the way up and it'll connect back up with the redstone dust with the pistons up here come on back below head on over here and we're going to place a redstone torch there repeater facing this way at four ticks another one there at four ticks and then two others going at the opposite direction at four ticks each and then come on over to this side here grab a redstone dust place it here to make a clock here a sticky piston here you can turn this off with the lever on the opposite side and then the observer like this facing this way when you hit the lever that's going to turn on now from this side here place redstone dust a redstone torch and then a lever right here when you turn this on this turns on the farm turn it off it turns off the farm a comparator here 
And then come on below. We're going to need to place some temporary blocks here. Place the observer facing this way. Right underneath here. And then a sticky piston facing us from here. Another observer. You have to place a temporary block, then place it straight down so it faces like this with the arrow up. You can break that block. It's going to do this. That's okay. And then another sticky piston facing that observer like so. Come on over to this side here. Another sticky piston. Then place some temporary blocks here. And then the observer facing this way. From here, place a double chest going into that hopper. From below here, place another double chest. A hopper going into this double chest below. Then place five temporary blocks going out with one below. A hopper going straight into that. And then four hoppers going directly into that hopper there. Which will connect to that double chest above. Place five temporary blocks here. Then come on below and place five hoppers going directly into these temporary blocks. Then again some temporary blocks here with five hoppers going into these temporary blocks. And then you can place a chest on each of these hoppers. You could of course make this a double chest or continue this further downward in the future to collect more resources over time. And then place a 3x5 of solid blocks beside all the hoppers here. Come on below and then place a row of five solid blocks. A temporary block and then another five solid blocks here. Five repeaters going into all of these solid blocks, each set at one tick. And then another five solid blocks right beside all of these repeaters. And then back from above, we're going to go over to the hoppers, place five comparators going out. And then 15 redstone dust going out from all of these. Come on back below and place five redstone torches, just like this. And then we can head on back up top here. We can actually get rid of these four stone blocks and place four moss blocks. You need at least that moss block above the dispenser to get the farm started. You can hit this lever here to turn it on and come on back up. And then only place the lava here once the farm is turned on. Once it's on like this, place the lava right in the center there. Right in that center top copper block on the screen there. So you'll see over time this will eventually push out all of these stone blocks going one row at a time, and it'll make its way all the way to the outside. And so this is generating stone for the farm to be turned into moss. If you wanted, you could always make a stone generator uh, with a TNT duper at the end uh, to infinitely connect, collect the stone to. And then you can put the hopper with a minecart into the system now. And then you're going to see it's going to go around. Fill that double chest there with bone meal as well. That way the bone meal goes into the central dispenser and with both of the levers turned on the farm's going to start running now. So you see of course the moss will spread out into the other blocks and create all the other goodies with it too. And over time it's going to collect it and drop all of the goodies into that hopper right, right there. So make sure this is running exactly as you see here. Uh, you're going to want the bone meal to be consistently filled. So all the hoppers below here going into the dispenser fully filled. Otherwise the hopper of the minecart is going to pick up the items above and drop them into those hoppers. So just make sure these are always filled with bone meal which you'll see here. Otherwise it picks up some moss blocks like that. So fill them all with bone meal. You could of course eventually add onto this farm a converter with the moss blocks to turn it into bone meal and then put all the bone meal back into the system that way it's a infinitely repeating loop and then you can get infinite amounts of the resources here so i'm just going to fill this double chest completely up with bone meal but again of course you could use the moss from the farm to make bone meal too
And then to get the item sorter all ready for you, just let the farm run for about uh, 30 minutes or so to get the items required to sort it out. So we're going to want uh, 42 of each item in the item sorters. So if we come on back up here and go behind all these hoppers, we're going to see that we have a bunch of items in some of them. Uh, place four temporary or four filler items that won't be running through the system. And then place the desired item that you want it to collect into that one here. And you're going to need to place at least 42. So it's going to drop down to 41. One's going to go below. And then the rest of the items will go into the chest that you placed there. Do the same thing with four filler items on each of the hoppers. And then the desired item that you want it to collect. So that one was moss blocks. This one will be the moss carpets. Same thing again, four filler items, then the azaleas. And then get rid of these, place four filler items and the flowering azaleas. So this will be all the items you could collect from the farm. Get rid of all the ones that you already collected and you can sort them out. So that now we have a automatic item sorter for this farm. And again, of course, you could use the moss blocks to pump them back into the system to make it a infinitely repeating loop and you only need to use about half of the moss blocks that you get to make it infinite so you could devise a minecart to with a hopper just to collect half of the moss blocks collect half and then put the other half back into bone meal to make this farm infinitely repeating and then you're all set with an amazing moss farm and for the next farm i've been working on you're going to need tons of moss carpets for spawn proofing or to stop endermen from teleporting so i'll let you guess what kind of farm that is it's going to collect a insane amount of resources in terms of the different types about 13 different types of resources so make sure you stay tuned and get ready for that 